Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. I'm... I am, what do you say? Revisar, you. Checking? My, my book. The... Hey, nice. <laughs> what a beautiful thing. Yes, because I... I, I, I had to... to back down uh, to uh -huh. modules because I I lost three years. Oh, yes. and you had them before? Yes, I I was in... Presential mode. In module six. Oh, in, present, uh -huh. in presential mode. It was in presential. Hey, but what a beautiful manual, the one that you have. Yeah, I... I I need to to review to go back yeah. a little bit. Yeah, go back, yes. There's no problem. No, but that's very good. It it's is good very good. You. Thank you very much. And there are many, well, as I told you before, in the language, if you spend six months without practicing, then you have to retake a lot yes. Yes. the knowledge because it is very difficult to to go back to the knowledge that you have before. Yes. So you need to be constantly practicing every single day. I need to review my 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 other book. Your other books. My 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 other book, yes. Okay, that's very good. Well, but I am very glad that you took the chance to actually go back and participate again from the program yes. and for sure to to take the the to take the lead of, of studying again, right? That is very, it's very important and very necessary at the same yes. time. Yes, it is. Thank you, teacher. Uh, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Well, welcome to your Friday, Mr. Nelson. Hello, how are you? How are you, Mr. Nelson Gabarrete? Ah, hello, how are you? How was Good your morning. day, Nelson? Uh, I am uh, uh, busy. It was busy. What were you doing? ¿Qué estuvo haciendo? What were you doing? Oh, and my work is a busy, busy client. Uh, busy bank. Oh, so you have to go and visit clients. Yes. It's a, a motorcycle. Oh, uh, so you are so you are in, the, in your motorcycle visiting different people. Ah, yes. that's exciting. And motorcycle too. You working yes. motorcycle yes, yes. too. Oh my yes. god, that's that's difficult with the with the traffic and all that. It's complicated. Yes. Easy. It is easy for yes. you because you move Delicious. around. <laughs> Delicious. Okay, good. So thank you for being here. Hello, Cristia. How are you? Hello, Miss. Um, very fine. I I am tired. Ah, tired. I imagine. It is yes. it is Friday. It is well, it is necessary to be back on track. But it, it is good because it's the last day of the week and then you rest tomorrow. <laughs> yes. Do you work but tomorrow? Today, today, today was a, a good day for me. Hey, that's nice. Do you work yes. tomorrow, people? Raise your hand if you work tomorrow. No. I work tomorrow. <laughs> all the day. And Sunday, <laughs> all the day. <laughs> you know. How nice. Well, enjoy. Enjoy. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Rocio, you look very good. Hi, really? That, that's the, that's like... the COVID that I want. <laughs> no. Algún día me da COVID que me dé así como a Rocio. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, but it, it is very nice and I am very happy that you look good. I mean, that you look fine, that you look healthy. I know that it, 
it might be you. kind of uncomfortable, but you 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 look very good. I mean, for Thank the yeah, for the news and everything, right. you look nice. I think the worst was before. <laughs> Creo que ya pasó lo peor. Yes, I think so. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Rocio. Thank you for being here. Hello, Carolina. How was your day? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Uh, my day today was more because my my boss uh, COVID. Uh, <laughs> your boss yeah. has COVID. Oh my uh, God. Yeah. Uh, Oh, um, este día en español este día regresó de, 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 del, del, del proceso COVID ya se imagina todo el trabajo oh so he, he finished his, he, he came back to work today he came back to work today sí. él volvió a trabajar ajá hoy, hoy. Yeah. oh my ah, god sí. Y I tired, I tired. I sleep. Okay, well, you're going to wake up in a moment, don't worry. <laughs> like yeah. yesterday, when yeah. Diana. <laughs> yeah, y, y, um, I, I have, I, I have a, a work. Uh, tomorrow. Ah, you have to work tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. but the day is going to be soon. Uh -huh. It's going to be fast. Don't worry. I, yeah. mm. <laughs> okay, Claudeta. Bill, my vet, how was your day today? Hi. My day is very was? stressful. Stressful. Okay, your day was very stressful. Very stressful, yeah. Uh, but uh, you, you are going to relax in a moment, don't worry. <laughs> um, in my work, um, I uh, was, it was a little, a little early. And, and it's very stressful, uh, complicated. I know. Um, and, and I received call uh, that every everybody. <laughs> um, <laughs> you were yeah. the one giving solutions to everything. Yes. Yeah. Oh yes. my goodness. Yeah, that's the problem. I mean, when you have to solve for everybody, and you are like, and Bill, my mire, and Bill, my ayúdame, Bill, my mire, que es Bill, Ivet, 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 ayúdame, Ivet, aquí, Ivet, ay, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It is difficult. Well, that's that's very similar to my case. Well, thank yes, you. And, uh -huh. and, and, and how can I say, además de? And also? And also. Uh, or, you, or you can say, and besides that. It's like, aparte that, de eso, besides that, right? I, I, I have to uh, finish my work. <laughs> and supervisor, uh, 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 everybody <laughs> oh my god you were supervising you were doing you were answering solving and working that's difficult <laughs> mr jorge you look very relaxed there in your bed that's pretty <laughs> nice <laughs> did you have a good day um uh, i think my day was pretty good because today is the the last day work in the week and the next week I take vacation. I how nice you're going to be chilling at home there. How beautiful. So enjoy your vacations. Enjoy them a lot. So obviously. Obviously. <laughs> obviously I am going to enjoy my vacations. <laughs> well everybody welcome today. Tatiana how are you? Hello, teacher. How was your day? It was very relaxed, I think. It was a day off. And hey, nice. tomorrow is a day off too, so relax. Hey, how nice. You have Friday and Saturday. How beautiful. Yes, but I have to work on Sunday. Ah, me too. <laughs> yeah, I... I work on Sundays. 
Yeah, that's a very tough thing. But on Sunday is nice because there is no traffic. Yes, it's true. And okay. it's relaxed, I think. Yes, well, uh, oh, the work on the weekend. Well, as I am, a, uh, I, I work with students on Saturday and Sunday. It is a very moved thing that mm -hmm. when I come to see, it's like, hey, it's 4 p.m. My God, I have to go home. <laughs> it's very tiring. Well, but uh, I am very glad to be here with you today. Today, I was, well, I was working on, um, on a situation we had with the with the platform i solve it because there was a, an exercise that was giving you difficulties on the platform did you have the chance to finish it everybody was fighting with it it was the homework 1.7 right la más odiada del día <laughs> and the problem was not you the problem was not that you were not doing the things, the problem was a mistake that there was on the platform, right? There was a mistake on the exercise and now everything is complete. So, so far we have all these different homework, the ones that um, I think I can, you, yes, you can yes. see my book. So in this case for the, for the, um, the platform, we uh, should finish the first section that it's uh, the first week, right? And for sure, this was the first part of the week that we worked on. Do you remember what was an intermediary entity in the distribution channel? What was this answer? Wholesaler. It's a wholesaler, right? An agent who supplies goods to stores. What was this one? Distribute an agent who supplies goods to the stores and other business that sell to customers. It's that direct, direct retail channel. It's a bureau. It was a retailer, consultant, distributor. It's distributor. a distributor. What about the person or business that sell goods to the public in a small quantities? Retailer. Retailer, very good. Retailer, Retailer. And a professional who provides expert advice? Consultant. Consultant. And an individual agency or company that sells manufacturer's products? Manufacturer representative. <laughs> it's a, for sure, the manufacturer's representative. Very good. So this was the first exercise that you should have finished on the platform. Then we have the next one that we were talking about expressions of certainty? Not yet. I certainly, certain to. I'm certain to come next time, right? I'm certain mm -hmm. to come next time. I can't tonight, but I am certain to come next time. What about number two? They are likely they are likely to. They are. Like they are likely to. They are likely to. Okay, they are likely to. Number three? Number three, I am, I am sure. sure. Right, sure. I am sure. I am sure that, that she will try, try her, best her best to be, to be here, here, right? Here. You cannot say I surely, right? Because that's not proper. We might have problems with the water supply in the future. There is. There is a chance. There is a chance, there is a chance right? Because you're going to say there a chance because yes. it's not a complete sentence. And yes. number five? I doubt we, uh, he will. I doubt he will. I, I, doubt. I doubt he will no, or he I will doubt he'll be, be back, back by Friday. Friday. I doubt he will be back by Friday. Let's check. And there you go. You have your answers right. Very good. The next one, we have to categorize them. And this is what we were doing in class. If it was direct channel, retailer, or wholesaler. We did this one in class. And uh, the first one, Amazon sell Kindles to its customers through its own platform. Direct channel. Direction. It's a direct channel. 
IKEA buys products from different manufacturers and sells them in their stores. Or say channel. Retail, wholesale. 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 Okay, well, I'm going to follow your, your answers. I taught you this in class. Awesome grocers suppliers supplies a line of independent grocery stores with purchases in bulk. Retailers. Retail. Retail channel. Dell Computers sells through its own online platform or call center. Direct, Direct channel. channel. Direct channel. And the last one, Gap wholesale. buys clothes wholesale. from other manufacturers. Wholesale. 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 The wholesale. Good. Very good. Oh, no, this one was, uh, wholesale. sorry, wholesale. I, I got the wholesale, wholesale channel. Wholesale. There you go. Yo había puesto la que no era. There you go, wholesale channel. That's it. And then we have our friend, right? We have our friend, the exercise, chan, chan, chan. That in this case, this is what we are going to study today, the comparatives. As you can see here, we have help you produce as retailers, as wholesalers, much profit. And it says, retailers help you produce as much profit as wholesalers. As much as is like tanto como, right? Tanta ganancia como los eh, vendedores al mayoreo. The next one, the shipment. <laughs> Lo van a recordar por siempre. The shipment. The shipment will be delivered as soon as the payment is received, right? As soon as, it's tan pronto como. As soon as, right? As soon as you pay, they get, they give you the product. Teacher, ¿y se arregló esa o, o ahí en inglés corporativo lo arreglaron? I told, I called them. I um, called them and we worked together and I was, I was fixing and I said, like, we did it, right? Sí, porque ayer le pregunté a un amigo, mira, me han mandado esta y me la mandó así. Pero es que no me la agarra así, le digo. Yeah, the problem was one space. En la plataforma había quedado un espacio. Ah, Entonces okay. ya ahí con, con los encargados le llamé, lo corregimos y todo, ya lo dejaron al 100. The next one, it says, product transportation. Este es el sujeto de su oración, right? Product transportation, yeah. the verb is, is, and then the expression as expensive as. This expression of comparison is like, es tan caro como, right? Mm -hmm. It's as expensive as storage capacity. Okay. Then in the next one, in the next part, you have what is the subject of your sentence? Some some channel, some channel distribution, distribution strategies. 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 This is the subject. Are, are not are not, not as, as efficient, efficient as, as others. others. Right? No son tan eficientes como. They are not as efficient as others. What about the next one? We say selling our digital curses, right? This is the main idea. Yes. Is not as uh -huh, profitable, profitable. As, as profitable as those, uh -huh, distribu uh -huh, distribu those. distributing them online. Let me erase okay. this one. It says selling, sure. selling our digital courses mm -hmm. through no. a store, a store. is not mm -hmm. as profitable as distributing mm -hmm. them online. online. Okay. Selling our digital courses through a store is not as profitable as distributing them online. That was mm -hmm. the idea of this sentence. And as you can see, all of them finished correct. So in this case, remember, we have the subject of the sentence. In this case, we have the subject of the sentence. Then we have retailers help you, right? Because here you have the verb, help you produce as much profit as wholesalers, right? So that's the idea of the sentence. We are going to build up some more today in class. And the last exercise that we have here, it is 
the reading, right? In the reading, we have uh, some tips about successful retailers uh, implementation, right? And we are going to answer the questions below, right? Here, there you go. Let me make it bigger. And here you have. Before we go through the reading, I am going to call the attendance. Okay, le puede pasar lista antes de que empecemos a leer para que ya nos quedemos leyendo tranquilos. Okay, give me one second. Hey, hello everybody. I can see many more connected. Okay, okay. Let me see. And here it is. <clears throat> Remember when you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present, okay? I am going to start with, let me see. Claudia, Carolina Yamilet. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Maria. Present teacher. Christian Natalie. Present. Diana Elizabeth. Present. Jorge Humberto. Present. Okay, Jorge is the one in charge of the one-on-one -on -one today, okay? Hoy le toca su one-on-one al final de clase. Jose Carlos? I'm here, teacher, but I'm driving, actually. Don't worry, don't worry. Eh, Jose Rodrigo? Okay, thanks. You're welcome, you're welcome, don't worry. Okay, Jose Rodrigo is not here yet. Juan de Dios, it's in the hospital, but I don't know if he... Present, teacher. Hello, hello, Juan hello. de Dios. The next one, Linda Yvette. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. Eh, María Genoveva. Todavía está enfermita. Ok. Yes, María Genoveva tenía ahí un COVID un poquito más gravecito. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelson Gabarrete. Present teacher. Norma Carolina. Normita. Eh, Olga Marleni. Present teacher. Thank you. Rocío Verónica. Present. Rosa Beatriz. Present. Silvia Zuleima. Present. Thank you. Tatiana Michelle. Present teacher. Vilma Ivette. Here. Marlene Nicole. Omar Francisco. And Danny Anthony. Uy, se me durmieron los tres. Okay. Let's go over the reading then. Les voy a compartir la lectura para que la puedan ver, la podemos analizar y vamos a sacar palabras nuevas, ¿ok? Analicémosla, leámosla toda en voz baja, eh, con el micrófono apagado. Okay, it says, the following habits are repeatedly observed among many successful retailers. The first one says, Bill Maivet, can you help me with the first one? 
Prioritizing is key. The scheduling time limits and deadlines. Even as your own boss can help make retailers stay focused and schedule and eliminating extra time spent where it shouldn't be. Okay, <clears throat> prioritizing is key. Prioritizing is key. Scheduling time limits and deadlines. Even as your own boss can help make retailers stay focused and on schedule, eliminating extra time spent where it shouldn't be. Tell me, as professionals, what are some things that some people do at the office that shouldn't be done at the office? Uh -huh. What are some things that you have observed that are done at the office that shouldn't be done at the office? Nothing, nothing, teacher. <laughs> check social media. To check social media. Uh -huh. What else? Personal social media, right? What else? It's done at the office that shouldn't be done at the office. Personal calls. Personal calls. <laughs> uh huh. What Take is the other? Rest. Take a rest, right, Jose Humberto? That's very true. That then you are at the office in front of the computer and you are like, he is very concentrated. You say, like, no, he's sleeping. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> right? To check social media, to do personal calls, to sleep, to rest. Eat something to, to eat something, right? And you are there also to gossip. To gossip at work is like, do you know what's gossip? Yeah, no, gossiping. Gossip I have one chambre, you say, and everybody starts like do, 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 do. gossiping, gossiping, talking or distracting your co workers. You shouldn't be doing that because maybe they want to work, but you are like, ¿Qué estás haciendo? Ay, mira, vamos a comprar allá afuera. Come on. <laughs> then you take like one hour there. You go for fruit and you end up buying churritos. So <clears throat> prioritizing to make the things that are important first. What about the next one? Letting go is a must. Manuel Antonio, go ahead. Letting go is a must. Successful retailer analyze this situation as opportunities to learn from versus beating themselves up over. The more retailers know through hard data, the better they are in supporting their customers. Okay, <clears throat> letting go is a must. Thank you, Manuel. Successful retailers analyze these situations as opportunities to learn from versus beating themselves up over. The more retailers know through hard data, the better they are in supporting their customers. So they have to go through difficult situations. They have to go over difficult uh, challenges, but the, this is going to help them to give better advice, better examples to their customers. The next one, let me see. I am going to ask Linda Yvette. Training staff is vital. Okay, training staff is vital. The key is to invest time and dollars into your employees to reap the rewards of strong associates and as a result, a strong sales. Okay, <clears throat> thank you very much, Linda. It says, training staff is vital. The key is to invest time and dollars into your employees to reap the rewards of a strong associates and as a result, a strong sales. To reap the rewards is like alcanzar, obtener. 
to reap the rewards of a strong associates and as a result, a strong sales. Tell me, do you go through training in your company? Yes, a lot yes. of time. Yes, all the well, yesterday Diana was sharing that she had training, that she was preparing, right, in the new things. All the time, training your staff is very important. What about the next one? Knowing the competition is a priority. And I am going to ask a man to do this. Miguel Angel, can you help me with that one? Okay, Mr. Miguel Angel, can you? If not, I will ask Jose Rodrigo. Can you help me with that one? Knowing the competition is a priority. Okay. Knowing the competition is a priority. The sale of analysis and lower tailor to recognize the new industrial trends. This is the opportunity, new strategy to compete for share and other ways to stay afloat in the competitive retail marketplace. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It says, knowing the competition is a priority. This type of analysis allows retailers to recognize new industry trends, missed opportunities, new strategies to compete for sales and other ways to stay afloat in the competitive retail marketplace. You know, what type of competition do you have? For example, imagine if you sell shoes, here in El Salvador, eee, what type of competition will you have? Imagine that you sell shoes. What type of Pardo. competition? You have a dog. Uh -huh. Pardo. Pardos. Payless. Payless. MD. <laughs> MMD. <laughs> okay, you have a lot of competition, right? If you sell shampoo, right? Beautiful hair has a lot of competition here in El Salvador, right? If you sell cosmetics, right? You have a lot of competition, right? If you sell, a, I don't know, if you sell ice cream, <laughs> you have a lot of competition, right? Boston. From, if you sell what? Uh, you have Boston, you have, Boston. you have Miss Sarita, Sarita. you have Miss Neveria, <laughs> you have a lot of different uh, places that also sell ice cream that are going to be your competition. So knowing your competition is vital because you are going to know what to do and how to work. Mm -hmm. And the last one, shifting store inventory, it's okay. Shifting store inventory, it's okay. And Diana, can you help us with that one? Shifting the store inventory is okay. Successful merchants are willing to shift their inventory plans to accommodate their customers versus themselves. Listen to customers, react, react to consumer trends, work with vendors and respond to what customers want. That is how you are able to effectively buy inventory for your stores. Thank you very much, Diana. It says shifting store inventory is okay. Successful merchants are willing to shift their inventory plans to accommodate their customer versus themselves. Listen to customers, react to customers' trends, work with your vendors and respond to what customers want. That is how you are able to effectively buy inventory for your stores, right? What the customers need. Imagine if you sell fruit, for example, and the customers always go to your store and they say, do you have mango? It's like, no, only oranges and banana. Ah, thank you very much. The next day, do you have mango? And oh, only watermelon and melon and papaya. Hmm. Thank you. Hey, do you have mango? No, only mom beans. Only mom beans and grapes. Oh, I don't like them. So what you have to do is to listen to your customer. They want mangoes. I am going to buy mangoes. And for sure, the day that you get the mangoes, they are going to buy watermelon. That's very common. <clears throat> but you have mangoes now. 
I always make that joke to the person in the cafeteria there in, in the academy. I say like, hey, do you have cola champagne? I say, and it's like, yes, yes, give me a Coke. <laughs> I, I always say that to her. And she's like, ay, licenciados de comas. <laughs> And that, that's it, right? But they listen to the customers. They always have cola champagne and Coke. So I have the two options there. So those are basically the things that you need to, uh, to know to be a successful retailer for sure. So here, we are scheduling time limits and deadlines important to a retailer. In which case is this, this one used? because employees become a strong associates. They are important because they help retailers listen to customers or analyze the trends. They are important because they help retailers stay focused on a schedule. Very good. It says, why are they important? Why do sales become strong when retailers invest in training employees? Because employees become a strong associate. Very good. They become a strong associates because they are trained to do the things that the company wants them to do. What is a good way to get to know your competition? Analyze the trends. The trends. Missy opportunity and new strategy to compete for sales. Very good. That is a good way to know your competition, to analyze the trends, miss opportunities, and new strategies to compete for sales. And how do retailers become more effectively buy inventory for the stores? Listen to customers, react to customers, trend, work with vendors. There you go. So those are the different options that you match according to the reading. So my dear class, this is supposed to be done for today. I think everybody did it, right? Ya todos terminamos esta sección de la plataforma? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. yes teacher. <clears throat> Perfect. Everybody should finish this by today. Yes, Manuel? I saw your hand up. No. Okay, so all these sections should be done by today. Claudia Maria, tell me. Yes, Claudita? No, I just <laughs> saying that I finished that one word. Sorry. Okay, very good, very good. So all of you finished. These are the ones for next week. But remember, you can work on them in advance. There is no problem with this. But what I matter, porque hoy paso las notas en la noche, al, al, a su cuadro, ya que toda la sección 1 esté terminada, y al 100% porque ya tenemos todas las respuestas chequeadas, ¿ok? Hoy que pase las notas, solo voy a pasar dieces. Let's go back here. Ok. <clears throat> so make sure that you have everything done. Everything done and everything completed. Let me see, let me see. Ok. So we are here. We went uh, through the platform. <clears throat> we went uh, through check all the other parts. Remember or agreements in the class. I have I have a lot of cameras off today. I have some of them that have difficulties because they are in a special situations today, but <clears throat> there are others who just have the camera off. I cannot see Rodrigo, for example, and Claudita. I cannot see your camera. But for the rest, I thank you for being with your camera on. So as we were telling today, the main focus of the class was the comparatives. I wanted to finish the platform and also to dig in a little bit on the topic because this is a very important topic that in some cases we forget, right? And we try to make comparisons in an incorrect form. In order to, to make this type of comparisons, we need to review a little bit of the comparatives as well, because that is one topic that gives a lot of issues at the moment of speaking the language. So uh, we talk about the highlights of the day. I also call the attendance and I have a little practice for all of you. <clears throat> what is this one? 
Ajá. How can I say trabalengua? Tongue twister. I am going to send it on the chat. This is a tongue, tongue twister. twister. A tongue twister. I am going to send it there. A tongue twister because it's going to make your tongue twist. And I have two very easy examples for today. The first one says, Fussy Woozy was a bear. Fussy Woozy had no hair. Fussy Woozy wasn't very fussy, was he? Try it with me. Fussy Woozy was a bear. Fussy Woozy had no hair. Fussy Woozy wasn't very fussy, was he? Fussy Woozy was a bear. Fussy Woozy wasn't very fussy, was he? I, I, I was I was listening to wooshy 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 wooshy. Fussy wooshy was a bear. Fussy wooshy was a bear. Fussy wooshy was a bear. Fussy wooshy had no hair. Fussy wooshy wasn't very fussy. 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 Fussy wooshy the next one says, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Woodchuck chuck if you would chuck wood. Okay, go with me. Listen. Listen to the first sentence, the first line. Okay, vamos a irnos con la primera línea. No me digan chuck, 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 chuck. How much wood? Wool. 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 Okay, let's practice. How much wood? How much wood? a wood chuck chuck? Would a wood chuck chuck? If a wood chuck, if a wood chuck could chuck wood. Could chuck wood. Okay, good, 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 good. Let's go with the first one. Fussy wussy was a bear. Fussy wussy had no hair. Fussy wussy was a bear. 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 And the next one. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if you would chuck wood? A chuck wood chuck. It's my teacher. Okay. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Very good. Very good, Rocío. Very nice. Okay. So this was, this is a very good practice. The tongue twisters are a very good practice for your fluency, right? It, it looks like a game. It looks like something funny, but they help you to actually produce and they actually help you with pronunciation, okay? So we need to be uh, actually practicing. Later on during the presentation, we are going to see them. So if you see it, we have to repeat it, okay? Okay, if you see it later on, we have to repeat it. Okay, let's go over the presentation then. And here we have it, okay. I have another one. If two witches watch two watches, which witch will watch which watch? If two witches watch two watches, two witches watch two watch which which will watch which watch. It's easier, easier, more easy to watch. 
Witches watch to watches. If the witches watch to watches, which witch will watch which watch? If the witches watch to watch to watch which watch which watch <laughs> very good job. Very good job. You did a very good practice. A clap, a clap for your practice. That was very good. In the tongue twister. So <clears throat> tell me, in general, what are some adjectives that you know? Give me examples of adjectives. Give me examples of adjectives. Smart. Smart. Good. Big. Beautiful. Big, beautiful. Little. Little, Little, kind, kind, happy, happy, sad, sad, dirty, 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 good, dirty, cry, uh, cry, um, no, cry is not uh, an adjective in this case. Tall, tall, good, big, wet, big, wet, very good, bad, bad. Fast. Mm, fast, good. Any other example of adjective that you know? Lazy. Mm, far. Lazy, far. very good. Far, very mm. good. <laughs> adjectives, adjectives. Small. Small, good, very good. <clears throat> so, here we have a couple of examples of adjectives, right? We have uh, some examples of adjectives. I am going to move them a little bit so we can see them. We have pretty, elegant, mm -hmm. tall, big, tall, dangerous, big, danger, good, small, short, small, short easy, easy, attractive, intelligent, <laughs> serious, smiling, smiling. Wonderful, wonderful, nice, mm -hmm. exciting, fast, Fun. happy. Fun. What are the Fun. next one? Continue Fun. helping me. Bad, strong, strong kind, kind, helpful, helpful little, 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 easy, easy clever, 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 hard, hard interesting, interesting, beautiful, 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 beautiful ear, close, 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 sweet, sweet Handsome, handsome, good looking, warm, 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 hot, 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 difficult, boring, boring, expensive, modern, salty, 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 no salt, como la sal, salt, salt. salty, salty. salty. Okay, so, those are examples mean? of adjectives. What is the meaning of salty? It's like, for example, when you go to the beach and you taste the water, and it's like, oh. it's salty. Oh my god! Teacher, uh, teacher also the the, the meat. Uh, <clears throat> there the is food. a type. There is a type of meat that it's very uh, like it's kind of salt salty. and salty. It's salty fish. Salty fish, the one that you eat for Holy Week, right? The one that you cook for Holy Week. I don't like that. I don't like it. <laughs> to be honest, I don't like, I don't know why, but some people like it a lot, but I don't really like it. It's very salty and I don't know why. It's like, es bien salado y de ahí lo meten en agua para quitarle la sal. Entonces, ¿para qué le ponen tanta sal? It's like, come on. But it is... Teacher. But do, do you like do you like salty fish? The salty it depends because uh, the salt uh, help to conserve to conserve the, the fish, fish, right? To conserve for the, the meat. For many, yes, for for many for many time. Yes, so it it works with the fish. Do you yes. like this type of salty meat? Le gusta la carne salada? Yes, I really like the salty meat. <laughs> you like salty meat? Yes. First, First, put it on in, in, in a lot of water. <laughs> <laughs> you put it in a lot of water, and then you yes. you put it um, on the on the over the fire, and it's the, they say the, the teriyaki is a type of 
salty meat. Oh, really? Oh. But with a lot of sauce, it feels kind of sweet and sour. Se hace como agridulce. Yeah, yeah, that's good. But that's a good one. Do you know the meaning of all the other adjectives that I show you today? Yes? Um, what is the meaning of clever? Smart. Smart, right? What is the meaning of good looking? Handsome. Handsome. <laughs> handsome. <laughs> okay, good looking is handsome. What about, uh, let me see. No, I think that was like the, the different one. Um, a smiley is like when you smile a lot, it's like muy sonriente. And let me see. Well, sweet indeed, it can be for a person or for food, right? Because a person can be really sweet. Yes. But it's not, you taste it like, uh, 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 mm, it's sweet. No, mm. it's sweet because it's kind. It's nice, right? Yes. And for sure, uh, food can be sweet because of sugar, right? And let me see another one. You. Uh, which one? Near. Near. Cerca. Close. Near. Okay. Yeah. So those are some of the adjectives. And I am telling you right now about the adjectives because they are the ones that you use with comparatives. Right? When you use this type of adjectives with comparatives, far from the, from the sentences as, as, right? You use a comparatives in your everyday. Some people will say it. it's like more easy, easy. more big, they say, more, Bigger. more busy. And they are not like that. More is used with long adjectives that have more than two syllables. For example, it can be more interesting, more beautiful, more handsome, more expensive, more modern more, uh, I don't know, exciting, because the, the adjectives are bigger, are longer. But for example, with tall, you don't say more tall, you say taller, you say bigger, you say for good, as it is a special case, you say better. Longer. You don't say gooder, right? <laughs> more good, did you? No, it's better, better. <clears throat> For easy, I think that in my 19 years of teaching, almost 20, I have heard this adjective in the incorrect comparative form like 3,000 times. It's more easy, they say. It's more easy. Or they say more better. It's better, mm. right? It's better. Only Spanish teacher. <laughs> in Spanish, we say, más mejor. Spanish? Well, in Spanish, mejor? in Spanish, we say, subir para arriba. <laughs> I made this mistake today, teacher. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but it's, it's okay because it, it is on the class and we correct it later. Ya lo corregimos después, ¿verdad? Así, si lo hubiéramos corregido antes, ya no. So, <laughs> let's see. Eh, remember... In, in Spanish, we kill many, many types of, of words, right? Yeah, aiga, for example. We kill that one in Spanish. You say, más mejor. No, <laughs> it's not possible. Um, uh, how do you say, like, a, another one that you always mention incorrectly in Spanish? Alguna otra que han escuchado en español que es como, ¿Eh? Es Subí para arriba. Subí para Entra arriba. para adentro. Entra para adentro. Salí para afuera. Salí para afuera. <laughs> Subilo para arriba. Existe. Yeah. yeah. So we need to be very careful not to bring those mistakes from Spanish to English because that is when you think in Spanish. You make these mistakes, and for sure, they are going to be really incorrect at the moment of speaking. So well, I, I really wanted to fresh up a couple of rules. Yo sé que esto quizás lo vieron hace unos, unos módulos atrás o atrás en, en, en su aprendizaje, 
but I wanted to clarify and to bring up a couple of um, rules for the comparatives, right? This is the most common rule to add ER to the comparative form, right? And here you have, uh, for example, in the comparative, you say long, longer, young, younger, smart, smarter, old, older, right? You add ER. This is the most common form of comparatives, right? To add ER to the verb. The next one that it's really common is, well, I have the, the practice again, to add ER to a one syllable adjective that ends in a single vowel, right? In some cases, when you have consonant, vowel consonant, you have to double the consonant and to add ER. Big, bigger. Fat, fatter. Hot, hotter. Okay, si tenemos solo consonante, vocal consonante, hacemos doble consonante y después ER. Sadder, madder, thinner. Mad is when you feel angry. It's like, I am mad. I am really mad. It's like you are very, very angry that you look almost crazy. You're really mad. It's like, oh, very mad. What about the next one? The next rule that I have right here. Can you help me, class, to read the rule? Go ahead. Adding, adding ER to an adjective that ends in Y when the adjective ends in a Y. You must change the Y in I. Then add ER to the comparative adjective. Okay. That was the funniest thing I have ever heard. Okay, this is the superlative form, right? This is the superlative for funny. In this case, when you have the Y at the end, si terminen Y, so you have to eliminate the Y and add I-E-R. Pretty, prettier. Angry, angrier. Happy, happier. Busy, busier. Lovelier. Sillier. Sleepier. Thirstier. And uglier. This is the comparative form, right? And I can say, for example, eh, I don't know, cats are prettier than dogs or dogs are prettier than cats. And then you have the two forms. But if I want to compare with as, as, is it like cats are as pretty as dogs? If you use as, as, the adjective is going to be in the normal form, right? Cats are as pretty as dogs and you don't change it, right? My boss is as busy as I am. Or in some cases, I am busier than my boss, okay? That is some different levels of comparison. We are going to see some other examples here. here. Adding ER to a one syllable adjective that ends in E. If the adjective finishes with E, you add only the R. R. You don't say closer, -er. A stranger <laughs> things, <laughs> right? <clears throat> you don't say it with double E. It's with R only, okay? This is the form of the comparative. Wow, your cat is much larger than mine. Your cat is much larger than mine. It's like mucho más grande que el mío. It's much larger than mine. And here we have the next rule for comparatives, right? For these ones, we have closer, wiser, stranger, huger, brother, loser, safer, cutter, gentler, and simpler. Can you give me one example of a sentence using one of these comparatives? One example. A sentence using one of these comparatives. The sup Sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, Chrissy. Uh, the supermarket is closer to my house. Okay, the supermarket is 
closer to my house. Comparemoslo con algo. Than the, than the Walmart. My, <laughs> than the Walmart. Okay. <clears throat> In this case, we can have, instead of saying the supermarket, okay, it's store. Okay. Like a small store. Okay. We are going to, to call it selection. Selection. <laughs> <laughs> el, el hermano perdido. Yes. Selection supermarket is closer to my house than uh, Walter's. <laughs> Walter's shop. <laughs> Walmart. <laughs> than Walter's okay. shop. There you go. That's just an example. Or it says, for example, the market, the market is a what? And let's use cheap. Cheaper than the supermarket. Right? So it can be another example. Another option. What sentence can you create with safer? The, the bus. Uh -huh. The bus is safer than train than the train <laughs> okay the bus is safer than the train but we can say for example this is just an example motorcycles are as safe as buses right and you have another example in this case when you use as as the verb the adjective is going to be normal Right, are as safe as buses. Son tan seguras como un bus. Okay. So I have some examples for this one. What about the next rule that I have here? Let me just change it here. No, I'm rude. <laughs> rude, ruder. It's like, más rude. ruder. Más rude, okay. It's like, huge is big, right? It's I'm big. ruder than my, my brother. <clears throat> I am ruder than my brother. Good. Huge is enormous. Huger. Huge. Right? It's mucho más grande que. Right? Huger. And uh, let me see. Gentler, it's más amable. And simpler, más sencillo. Right? And cute, it's nice. Right? Ah, cute, cuter. Más bonito. It's cuter. And in this one, let me just erase my examples. This is the one that I was explaining you. Can you help me, Tatiana, please, to read this one? Uh, number five. Making comparatives or superlatives with adjectives that have two or more syllables. Everything, teacher. The examples, read the examples. Ah, okay. Most two syllable. Uh, uh, Karen is the most honest person I know. Okay. And the examples we have more interesting. Okay. Uh, more complete, more beautiful, more important, more dangerous, uh, more colorful, more exciting, more complicated, and more boring. And more boring, right? In this case, as you can see, we have long adjectives, right? And here you have, for example, more beautiful, more exciting, more complicated. Tell me, who is more complicated, a boy or a girl? A girl. <laughs> the girl. <laughs> See, the girl. The girl. Yeah. Okay. Boys, I think boys are more complicated. Boys. Yes, true. Boys are simple. <laughs> mm, yeah, take them to buy shoes. Llévelos a comprar zapatos. <laughs> it's like, no, this one. Uh, this one. I this one. Boy. You have a boy. <laughs> and it, my, teachers, in, pants. Yes. Teacher T-shirts, pants, pants, and things, and jeans, and all this. Oh, my God. And this one. <laughs> yeah, they are more, a little bit. Well, girls are more complicated on those areas. Which one is more interesting? History or mathematics? Mathematics. 
Mathematics. Mathematics, okay. Which one is more complete? Having breakfast with cereal or having breakfast with meat, uh, sorry, beans, eggs, and all these things? Which one is more complete? A uh, traditional uh, breakfast or cereal? Cereal is a traditional breakfast. A traditional breakfast. <clears throat> Yeah. Who is more beautiful? Who is more beautiful? Uh, I am going to take two examples. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, Sandra Bullock or Dua Lipa? Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa. <laughs> <Dua Lipa. laughs> <laughs> okay, Sandra go. Bullock. Sandra Bullock, okay. Yes. <laughs> Which one is more dangerous? <laughs> The, let me Dua see. Lipa. Dua Lipa is more than you. <laughs> here. Yes, I agree. We are in the next. Hello, I am in the next <laughs> adjective. Which one is more dangerous? Motorcycles or coasters? Motorcycles. Coaster. Coaster. <laughs> coasters. <laughs> coasters are. Definitely both. <laughs> both of them are dangerous. Did you, did you, yes? I have an example. <clears throat> uh huh. What is more dangerous, the shark or the mosquitoes? The shark or the mosquitoes? I, I think the mosquitoes. <laughs> the mosquitoes? Yeah. Because for the, the dengue, for the Zika. For the Zika, the dengue. I remember, do you remember when, when there was this uh, chick uh, pandemic? Do you remember? Cuando todo mundo tenía chick. Everybody had chick. I remember that or first. My neck, <laughs> or my hand. I remember that first I had chick, and then I had Zika. <laughs> I mean, I finished and chick, chick and I and I started with Zika, and I was like, the chikungunya. <laughs> yeah, the chikungunya. It was horrible, and now COVID. My God, it's, it's like, I, I, come on, we don't finish one to enter to another one. So, but comparing, uh, which one is more dangerous? Zika or COVID? COVID <laughs> is more dangerous. More colorful. Which one is more colorful? Sonsonate or San Salvador? Sonsonate. Sonsonate with all these yes. roots of the flowers and all these touristic places yes. that they have. The Isalco Volcano. The Isalco thing, Cerro Verde and all these things. Which one is more exciting? Which one is more exciting? Uh, the beach? The beach or the mountain? For me, the mountain. I prefer the beach. The beach. I prefer the beach, you say. Yeah, I prefer the beach too. It's very beautiful. And let me see. Which one is more boring? Uh, Harry Potter or The Lord of the Rings? The Lord of the Rings. <laughs> the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> it's more boring. Yes. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, well, I I haven't seen them, so I don't know. Do you like Harry Potter movies? Yes. Yeah. yes. I, pre I prefer the books. I prefer the books too. They are very good. The books are very nice. They are very interesting. So yes. they are more interesting than the movies. So as you can see here, we were using the examples to express comparison, right? We were using the examples to express comparison. Uh -huh. Let's practice. One, two, three. Number two. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Very good. Let's continue. You are singing. Yeah, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? <laughs> Good, let's continue here. So these are irregular uh, adjectives for comparisons. What are some specific cases? For example, in this one you have good, better. It is not gooder, okay? Gooder, it's gooder than the other one. Bad is not badder, please, in the love of God. It's not bad. It's worse. What about well? Better or good? Better. Far, farther or further. Right? These are the comparative form of these 
adjectives. These are a special cases, right? We have a special cases here. And for sure, here, I am going to give you some time for you to create some sentences. We are going to create some ideas and some examples. I give you here the sentences, but I need you to create the rest of it. I have the first one done and it says chocolate cake is more delicious than lemon pie. And the next one it says is cheaper than in my country. You can say, for example, bread is chicken is chicken. <laughs> is cheaper than tortillas in my country. I don't know. You can give other examples. Is sure. taller than? Yes. I have a question. Question me. What do you say in English? Chocolate. 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 Okay. Chocolate. Thank you. you. Don't say chocolate. It's chocolate. Chocolate. The, the, the teacher I I had in the module module six. Um, they say chocolate. Yeah, it's just, it, yeah, it's a little bit more like exaggerated. Like chocolate. Mm -hmm. Chocolate is it? Chocolate. <laughs> it is the same, but I don't exaggerate that much. Chocolate. 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 Okay, thank you. <clears throat> yeah, it's like they say it's chocolate. It, that's something that people like to do, but it's like chocolate. <laughs> okay, create your sentences. And once you have them, let me know because you are going to share them with the class. Go ahead, write them down. I will give you some minutes for you to write them down. I forgot my notebook. Did you finish your sentences? No, teacher, not yet. <laughs> not yet, not yet. Not yet.
Dun. Not yet, teacher. <laughs> not yet, teacher, not yet. One minute. And why fast, teacher? <laughs> Okay, take your time. The idea is that the sentences are correct and complete. Okay, so if you finish the first sentences, you can raise your hand and we're going to be calling you one by one according to the different hands that I have up. Thank you, Jorge. Thank you, Rocio. Thank you, Yvette. Thank you, Manuel. We're going to start with Jorge. Can you give me your first example? The microphone, Jorge, it's off. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. The coca is cheaper than pep <laughs> in my country. Very good. <laughs> the coca. <laughs> the, well, soda, soda. 
Because they go. Imagine if we, if someone sees this video in another country, they would say like, hey, I need to go to El Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> they saw that okay coca-cola it's cheaper than uh, uh which was the other one pepsi right my country okay. what about number two rocio veronica okay my parents are taller than me <laughs> my parents are taller than me okay good very good yvette yeah. go ahead the cars are more expensive than motorcycles Cars no, are more expensive than motorcycles. <laughs> Depending on the motorcycle. Let's see, Manuel Antonio, the next one. Older than. Older than, okay. My cat is older than the parrot. Okay, my cat is older than the parrot. What about beautiful, Christia? I only have a question uh -huh. about the beautiful. I, uh, can I use most beautiful and more beautiful yes but oh. in the case in the case of most is the superlative form right now we are working on the comparatives most ah, okay. is more. for the superlative you say more uh, okay uh, sunset are most are more beautiful than sunrise okay sunsets are more beautiful than sunrises very good when you say the sunset is the most beautiful part of the day. In that case, it's a superlative. No hay nada que lo supere porque es el único ganador, right? Okay. Thank you. It's like if you say, Christia is the most beautiful in the class. There is no other one that is more beautiful than you, mm. right? Okay. But if you say, you. if you say, for example, eh, Christia is more beautiful than Nati, for example, it's in a comparison, in a comparison it's, a it's a comparative form. We say more. For you. Okay, thank you. Okay, so let's go with stylish. Rosa Beatriz. She is more stylish than her uncle. Okay, she is more stylish than her uncle. Good. Okay. Oh. And modern. Who can help me with modern? Teacher, the school is a is as modern as the university. The school is as modern as the university. Very good sentence because you are using as, as. Very nice. The next one, we have big. What about big? Can you help me with a sentence? Diana, with big. Uh, my house is bigger than yours. My house is bigger than yours. Very good. For sure it is. <laughs> because mine is, well, no, it's kind of big, but it's not that big. Right? Sure. Big. Yes? May I can say my bed is, is big, but the desk is the bigger. <clears throat> you say, my bed is big, but the desk is bigger. bigger. It's bigger. The bigger, bigger. no. Uh -huh. It's bigger. The bigger, no. Okay, bigger. The desk is bigger. Nelson, can you give me one sentence? Hello. Give me one sentence. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, Jose is uh, taller uh, than Charles. Ho Jose is taller, taller than Charles. Good. Than Charles. Carolina, give me one sentence. The microphone, Carolina. Voy, voy, si es que no me no funcionaba. Y yo el ratón. Ay, voy. Va a de seguir el ratón y nada que se ganaba agarrar. Go ahead. The color, the, the color lilac beautiful than the color pink. Okay. You say lilac color is more beautiful than pink color. Ah. Good. Very good. Excellent. Jose Rodrigo, can you give me one sentence, please? The power infantile over time park bicentenario. Okay, the infantile park is bigger than bicentenario park. <laughs> Good. Uh, Norma Carolina, give me one sentence. Uh, the World Trade Center is more bigger than Telefonica building. More bigger or bigger? Bigger. 
Bigger, very good, because it's a short adjective, right? It's bigger. And the last one, it's going to be on Olga Marleni. Olguita, give me one sentence. Okay, teacher, last. Okay. Uh, my cat is much bigger than my mouse. Okay, the cat is much bigger than the mouse. Very good job. So as you can see, this is like a general review of the comparative forms. But based on the sentences we were working on in the uh, manual, we have forms of sentences with as and as. In this case, when you use this type of formation with as, as, you uh, keep the adjective in its normal form, right? You have the item, the verb, as, adjective as, and the second item. And it says, <clears throat> it isn't as big as the old one, right? In this case, you don't say it isn't as bigger as, okay? In this case, we are using as big as. It's as good as you. It's as big, as big. <laughs> it's as good as you can get for the price, right? And you can also have it with an adverb. It says, it doesn't work as well as we hoped. We finish as quickly as we could. Tan pronto como pudimos. Tan bien como esperamos. The last example, so he doesn't earn as much money as his brother. These aren't as many people as there were last year. So in this case, as you can see the sentences with the use of as and as, you are comparing both things like in the same level, right? No es tan grande como el otro. No es tan bonito como el otro. No es tan bueno como el otro, right? As and as. And I have a couple of more examples. Here, it's with the negative form. And it says, it is not as big as the old, as the old one. It isn't as big as the old one. It isn't as big as Tokyo. Paris isn't as big as Tokyo. And here we have, it isn't as big as my house, for example. It is not as big as my house, right? This is for the negative forms. Here, I have some other examples with uh, adverbs as well. It doesn't work as well as we hoped. No funcionó tan bien como lo esperábamos. Michael didn't play as well this week as he did last week. Right? This week, maybe he had COVID and he didn't run as much as possible. Right, he couldn't do it, he couldn't make it. And here, can you help me to read the examples here? This phone doesn't have this. as many features as the other one. And my ticket my didn't, ticket didn't, didn't cost, cost, cost as much as, as, yours. as yours. My ticket didn't cost as much as yours. As yours. This phone doesn't have as many features as the other one. No tiene tantas eh, features. How do you say that in Spanish? I forgot uh, the Spanish word. Characteristics, right? Characteristics. Characteristics, right? Configuraciones, right? As the other one. Very good. Thank you for helping me. And in the last example that I have is, well, I think it's, uh, this is the, the last one that I have here. And I have some other examples in the manual that it's the one that we are going to work on right now hey welcome rain it's raining again yeah yes in my house, yeah. in my, in my house doesn't it's raining right now uh, yeah it's it started to rain hey baby we are neighbors <laughs> because it has just started to rain right now so <clears throat> Let's go back here. I wanted to show you uh, some other things here on the manual that this is what we were doing yesterday, right? And here you have the examples that I was mentioning with uh, as and as. 
And here we have a conversation before we go with the, with the uh, grammar explanation on the book. We have Juan and Saul. Let's read about Juan. Here it goes. We're going to read about Juan. We have to reevaluate our distribution options. Customers, co consumers are not as interested in purchasing our products from retail stores as before. And Saul says, the online store is becoming more uh, very popular. Probably we need to switch to a wholesaler who can provide us with extra storage. Extra storage capacities. I agree. Let's look for a distribution option that allows us to get our products in strategic places on time. The current retail store is not as strategic as I thought it would be. I will call a consultant to ask about some possible wholesalers. New words, new vocabulary from the conversation? Uh -huh. Before. Before. Where is it? Let me see. As before, como antes. Before and after. Right? Antes, before, after, después. Any other one? New words or new vocabulary? No, sorry. Hello. 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 Allow. Allow. So, and it is, let me see. Reevaluate. We need to re. John. Second John. John. Ah, it allows us. There you go. Allows us. I am going to make it better because it looks horrible. Allows, reevaluate is to think and uh, actually check, right? Reevaluate. Reevaluate. We're going to reevaluate. Reevaluar. Yes, reevaluar. Allow us. Allow us is que nos permita. Right? Allowed us. Okay. Let's look for a distribution oh. option that allowed us to get our products in strategic places on time. Okay. Que nos permita ubicar nuestros productos en lugares oh. estratégicos a tiempo. A tiempo. Current. The current is actual. The current retail store is not as strategic as I thought it would be. Okay, it's not as strategic as I thought it would be. I will call a consultant to ask about some possible wholesalers. So they thought about the distribution of the ice cream. Do you remember what was the distribution of the ice cream? The number of distribution. Ajá. No, do you remember? Cuando estaban pensando en vender el, el, el helado y todo en la conversación que estudiamos hace unos días. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. And they say that they needed to look for a consultant and everything. Yes. So, retailer. yeah, they were, they were talking about the retailer. And for sure, in this case, they say they need to reevaluate our distribution options. Consumers are not as interested in purchasing our products from the retail stores as before. The online store is becoming very popular. Probably we need to switch to a wholesaler who can provide us with extra storage capacities. I agree. Let's look for a distribution option that allows us to get our products in strategic places on time. The current retail store is not as strategic as I thought it would be. Teacher, I remember that they, they, they want, they want. They want they it. Wanted, they wanted to, to sell 
to sell the, the, the ice cream. In the local stores, right? Yes. With the retailers. But they say like, mm, this is not very yeah. popular right now. They don't have knowledge. They didn't it. have any knowledge about it. Good. So that's important to remember. So they are reevaluating everything for them to be as successful as possible. Okay, let's practice. We have to reevaluate our distribution options. We have to distribution options. Distribution options. Consumers are not as interested in purchasing our products from retail stores as before. Consumers are not as interested in purchasing our products The online store is becoming very popular. Probably, we need to switch to a wholesaler who can provide us with extra storage capacities. We need to switch to a wholesaler who can provide us with extra storage capacities. Capacities. I agree. Okay. Let's look okay. for a distribution option that allows us to get our products in strategic places on time. Let's look for a distribution option that allows us to get our products in strategic places on time. On time, right? The current retail store is not as strategic as I thought it would be. The current retail store is not as strategic as I thought it would be. I will call a consult. Uh, sorry, I will call a consultant to ask about some possible wholesalers. I will call a consultant Some possible wholesalers. I will call a consultant. It's difficult to articulate that at the same time. I will call a consultant to ask about some possible wholesalers. Some possible wholesalers. Very good job. Now, as you can see here, we have different ways or different options of distribution. We have online sales, catalogs, retail outlets, and wholesalers, right? We have online sales that are the ones that you do through the internet, right? Catalogs and direct mail. Do you have an example of a product that you can buy through a catalog? Like Able, makeup. Maybe? Able. Able. <laughs> Able. Now you have Avon, Sison. You have like 20 different options. Yes. Right? Yeah. You have... Eh, Many, many options. Retail outlets are like, for example, in uh, Simang, I think you have an outlet, Simang, Prima outlet. Moda, you have an the outlet. Premium brands. Uh, like they have the premium brands, right? They have these different outlets for them <laughs> to go and yeah. buy in a cheaper price. And the wholesalers, right? Yes. And in this case, it says you may have chains or independent retailers sell the product for you. This is a wholesaler. While you must pay a wholesaler and retailer commission, this option should be able to get you a lower rate with retailers. The first one here is online sales. Because in this case, you don't pay anybody. Aquí no le pagan a nadie. Ayer con sus productos todos estaban escogiendo esta opción de online, to go online, right? Uh -huh. The next one, it says, you can stock an inventory and fulfill orders yourself to use a fulfillment service to handle your orders, right? This is a retail 
outlet because you can keep a big inventory of products. You may have chains or independent retailers sell the product for you, right? It can mm -hmm. be also a wholesaler. And you can take orders over a toll free number of websites. And you can also provide it by mail or you can have customers mail the orders to you. This is catalogs and direct mail because in the case of Avon, for example, you can buy a person, this person creates all the order, they send the order to the company, the company prepares the order and they send it back to the customer. So this is the process that they follow with catalogs and direct mail. The most famous right now, online sales. Online sales. Everything is online. You need something, busca el catalogo, busca la página. And then you just go and order. That is a very famous thing right now, right? And here I have the little explanation of what I, what I was telling you today about the use of as and as, right? And here you have it. You can do it in affirmative or in negative. <laughs> the examples that we have, I am going to ask, let me see. I am going to ask Silvia Suleima to help me to read the first part of the explanation. This one. <clears throat> when you compare people, objects or ideas. Ideas. In ideas and we want to show that they are the same or do something in the same way we use the form as more adjective or adverb and more as okay this symbol that you have here it is called plus plus, plus. okay plus. when we compare people objects, ideas, or something that we want to show that they are at the same level or that do something in the same way, we use the form as plus adjective plus as. And we have some examples. Here is the first example. Rocio, can you help me to read it? Yes. <clears throat> the company adds no. as much this one. Oh, sorry. Getting, getting the right. Okay, <laughs> getting the right product is as important as getting the right place to sell the product. Definitely, getting the right product is as important as getting the right place to sell the product. Diana, can you help me with the next one? The company adds as much value to distribution as they can. Very good. Uh, Miguel Angel, can you help me with the next one? My distributors are not as fast as the ones you partnered with. Partnered with. And the last one, Jose Carlos. Okay. The shipment transportation from my distributor is not as effective as shown in their advertising. The shipment transportation from my distributors is not as effective as shown in their advertising. It's like, no es como me lo vendieron, right? Ah, exactly. it, is, <laughs> it is not as they show it to be. Good. And here you have uh, your friends, the sentences. <laughs> we did these ones on the platform. So they are exactly the same sentences that we did at the beginning of the class. Uh. I think that you remember them, right? I am going to ask my friend Carolina to read number two. The shipment will deliver <laughs> as soon as the payment is received. Very good. Your friend, right? Your friend number two. Jorge Humberto, number three. Uh, number three. Road, road transportation. Is uh -huh. a, is as expensive as 
storage capacity. Very good. Number four, Olga Marleni. Some channel distribution strategies are not as efficient as others. Thank you. And Tatiana, number five. <laughs> you were building it up. <laughs> I saw you. <laughs> uh, selling our digital courses. It's not. It's uh, not as profitable. Uh, no. Selling or digital courses through a store? Uh, selling or digital courses through a store? Through a store is not as profitable as distribu distributing them online. It's not as profitable. Profitable. Very it's good not job. As profitable as distribution distributing then online okay it's distributing them distributing them distributing them, them. distributing them online very good job so here we have a, the last activity that we, oh before we go to the last activity i am going to call the attendance <laughs> before i forget antes de que se me olvide Antes de que se me olvide mi amiga la tenga. Carolina y Emilet. Perdón, 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 perdón. Don't worry, don't worry. Por estar pidiendo que comer. <risa> Tal vez me ve la, el sueño así con el hambre. Con el hambre. No, I think it's like, I always say this to my husband. When you start class at eight, then at ten, you are hungry. <risa> <laughs> Definitely. What about, uh, okay. Present. Thank you very much. Let's go with Claudia Maria. Claudita Maria. Hey, se nos perdió la Claudita. Christian Natalie. Present. Diana Elizabeth. Present. Jorge Humberto. Present. Jose Carlos. Present. Jose Rodrigo. Present teacher. Eh, Juan de Dios. Mr. Juan de Dios. Se nos perdió Juancito. Ok. Eh, let's go with Linda Ivette. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present teacher. Let's go with Nels, eh, Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Okay, Present. Nelson, thank you very much. Present teacher. Nelson and Miguel Angel, very good. And let's go with uh, Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Olga Marlene. Present teacher. Rocio Veronica. Present. Rosa Beatriz. Silvia Suleima. Present. Hey, Rosita Beatriz, ¿qué se me hizo? Ah, se me fue, les me dio la fuga. Can you listen to me? Yes. Over quinazo, ya. Ya, en los tacos, ya, ¿qué pasó ahí? Tatiana Michelle. Present teacher. Vilma Ivette. Present teacher. Marlene Nicole. Omar Francisco. And Danny Anthony. Okay, thank you very, very, very much. We're going to go over the last activity of the night. And we are going to be working here in the manual, right? We are going to work in the manual. Here, based on the product that you did yesterday, based on the things that you studied yesterday, based on the strategy that you created yesterday, I need you to tell me at least three sentences using as and as. It can be in affirmative or negative. And how can you create your sentences? I am going to start sharing but the board. Okay, 
I am going to share my board. Imagine that you were selling, I don't know, sweet bread yesterday. Imagínense que ayer vendieron pan dulce. And you can say, selling sweet bread is not as profitable as selling a meat, for example. And you have one sentence. This is in negative, right? But I can say selling shampoo is um, as beneficial as selling makeup. Okay, and there you have one sentence in affirmative with as, as, and one sentence in negative with as, as. What I need you to do is to use the product, the strategy, the sentences that we were using yesterday to create your examples, okay? I need you to create your examples. Maybe an affirmative and two negatives or two affirmatives and one negative, but with the information that you created yesterday, okay? With your product, with your example. Go ahead. I need you to write three, only three sentences using as, as, or as not as. Invent your examples. Teacher, I have a question. Yes? And can I use, um, suppose I say I need the presentation as soon as, soon as possible. There you go. Okay. Thank I you. need the presentation as soon as possible. Okay, Christia is on the way to a party. <laughs> Sorry, teacher, but I'm here in the class. I'm a, re a responsible person. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty nice. <laughs> Go ahead. Social, pero responsable. <laughs> I am going to leave the examples here for you to get the idea. Ay, los jóvenes que todavía salen los viernes. Esa juventud. Teacher, good night, teacher. Yes, tell me. Good night, ya no vamos. No, no, no you, you are greedy. Yo como veo que todo el mundo ya se va, yo también ya agarro, ya agarrando camino. No, todos están haciendo sus oracioncitas ahí bien ocupados. Todo ya se va. Carolina, oh my God. You saw Christia there on, 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 on her way to the party, but no. Teacher. We are we are missing three minutes still. No, five. Teacher. Yes? Sentences. Three sentences. Ah, you have one. <laughs> only three, only three. Only three sentences. Using as, as, Carolina. Using as, 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 as. As and as. Three sentences. Okay.
Okay, finish your sentences with as and as because we are going to share them. Do you have them? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Later on, I am going to send you a little practice. I tried to send it, but I couldn't paste the correct link. I am going to send you the correct link for this one. Let me see. Okay, so if you have your sentences, we're going to practice the sentences now. And here I go. Ah, I have the correct link. I need one volunteer. Who wants to start reading the sentences? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Action. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sylvia. Sylvia has, has her hand up. And then Yvette. And then... The rest. Go ahead, Sylvia. Start. Okay. Um, the beauty, the beauty, air is as better as shampoo pantene. Okay. The beautiful hair is as as better. Chicos, clase, es posible decir eso? Mm. As better as? It's not only is better than. Aha, uh -huh. you can say, but if you are using as, as, you can say, beautiful hair is as good. You use the normal form of the verb. It's as good as uh, Pantene, right? So correct that one. Can you give me another okay. example, uh, Silvia? Um, okay, our, our higher product is as, accessible as other brands. Okay, our hair product is as accessible as other brands. Very good, that's correct because you have the normal form of the adjective. Thank you very much, Silvia. Let's go with Yvette. Um, produce coffee is more complicated as only selling coffee. <laughs> Producing coffee is as uh, it's more complicated than just selling coffee. So you say it's as complicated as selling. Lo estamos poniendo en la misma equidad de comparación. That's a very good sentence. Do you have another example? Uh, selling coffee is not grateful as selling coffee plus bread, sweet bread. <laughs> okay, you need to sell it with sweet bread. That's a very good thing. Thank you very much, Yvette. Very good examples. Rocío Veronica. Okay, uh, our organic cosmetics are not as cheap as other dangerous cosmetics. Very nice. So we are going against the competence. And another yeah. sentence that you have? <laughs> Give me another example. Okay, um, let's see. <clears throat> Invest in makeup products is as profitable as other products for your personal care. Okay, it's as profitable. 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 Yeah, profitable. <laughs> no, it's like okay. profitable. Very good. Thank no. you, Rocio. Very good sentences. <laughs> Excellent Thank job. You. Olga Thank Marlene, you. go ahead. The traditional cosmetics as not recommend to sensible skin as the organic product. Very good, excellent sentence. Do you have another one? No teacher. Only that one. Okay, yes. Diana, you are going to uh, end up with the examples. Go ahead. 
Okay. Uh, lilac cosmetics are as good as mask, as MAC makeup. <laughs> okay, they are as good as the other one. And they are, well, they have a better price, definitely. Well, my okay. dear class, okay. I am going to stop right here. On Monday, we are going to study unit number two. So please try to review a little bit, try to catch up with everything. I know that everybody finished the first section of the platform, right? Ya todos terminamos la primera sección de la plataforma. Así que eh, para que todas esas notas ya estén listas, yo las puedo tomar de ahí. Okay, have a beautiful night, my dear class. I am going to stay with my one-on-one -on -one section with Mr. Jorge Humberto, okay? So yeah. you can go to sleep, have a beautiful night, and I'm going to see you on Monday. Have a beautiful okay. weekend. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Bye. 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 <laughs> Hello, Jorge. What, what do I do? Well, uh, this moment of the class, it's just for you. It's a moment on which I can attend you and you can tell me about your needs on the language, the necessities that you have. Uh, how do you feel in classes? How do you feel with the use of the platform? And what are the specific areas that I can help you with? Uh... In my opinion, I, I, I understand everything that you say, but when I want to say something, I'm always, uh, are, I'm thinking in Spanish. Ah, that's a problem, right? That's the first problem. Yes. Yes, I can understand perfectly that you say, but when I want to say the same, I, I'm not connecting. Well, that is a very common thing when we go and think only in Spanish. And that's one of the first issues that we need to work on. Because when you start thinking a little bit more in English, you actually develop more skills. The most common thing that we do is that we think about something and we think in Spanish. Yeah, ¿Cómo se dice en español? ¿Cómo lo hago en español? Y eso cómo va. So, the first thing that you need to start doing, Mr. Jorge, is to start building the sentences in English, not to translate them. It is complicated, but how are you going to make it? How are you going to make it? Putting more English, um, uh, well, English things on your life for example music. more movies more a uh, what music. more music more vocabulary more reading more listening but everything just in english no more subtitles no more translation <laughs> no more i put it in google no for example if you like music get the lyrics get the lyrics read the lyrics if you like movies, put the subtitles of the movies in English. So you are going to be receiving a lot of English for all the different fronts, right? You are going to be receiving, if you like to watch TV, watch TV in English, right? That is going to help you to avoid thinking that much in Spanish. Other problem that I, I think I, I have is uh, the use words to connect phrases. Uh -huh. I always forget the the use of, for example, also in addition. You just speak all uh, of a sudden. You I don't know use. The, I know the words, but when you don't I use. <laughs> say something, I I don't remember that because I'm thinking in Spanish. Okay, so a, a little bit more uh, of the use of connectors. You know, when you practice reading, you start getting 
acquaintance of the use of connectors because through books, through articles, through different uh, sources of reading, you can get to see the use of these things. Entre más leamos y entre más fuentes busquemos de lectura, más se va a dar cuenta del uso de los conectores. Y ahí vamos a estar más al tanto de que los tenemos que ocupar. ¿Ok? No sé si te gusta leer, te gusta leer libros. O oh, sea, así como, ah, no mucho. I want to see movies. <laughs> you prefer movies. Well, um, there are many good sites on reading. And, there, and maybe if you don't like reading that much, I can recommend you to read short articles every day. Try to read articles every day. I have like two or three pages that I am going to send to you with short articles and you just read the article and maybe you can read about things that you enjoy for example what is something what is a topic that you enjoy reading or or talking about i like sports okay so if you like sports you can use articles related to sports and then you say like for example if you want to read about the world cup for example but in English, look for an article in English and try to see the vocabulary, the different connectors that they use. So you can actually grab those to you and you can start using them. Okay, besides that, um, you say that you understand everything about the class. How do you feel as part of the class? Um, I feel good. I I think it's uh, very fun in the, the class. Uh, maybe I'm sleeping because I'm tired, but but it's Friday, I, and and also I was working in, in the office with the computer almost uh, almost all the day, and that is. Uh, it's tiring. tiding, right? I know it's it's really tiding, but it is admirable the effort that you do to continue preparing in your life even when the day is tired, right? Because I said like the ones who study at night are the ones who really want to prepare in their lives. Okay. Because yeah, I mean, I know we always have like hard days and everything, but doing this and choosing this time for you to continue working on your on your ideas, on your goals and everything, it makes it really admirable. In fact, I like, I like this, this class because I can change my mind one moment and forget the, the work. <laughs> you can forget everything, right? Now you're going to remember Fussy Wussy <laughs> all the <laughs> night. Okay, so tell me Jorge Humberto, eh, what are the things that you normally do to practice your English besides being in class? Do you do any other activities to practice uh, your English? I, I hear music. I listen, I, I listen, listen to music. I listen to music and sometimes I, I try to make sentence uh, in my mind. Okay, do you drive to your work? Do you drive yes. to your work? Okay, I will recommend you something for you to improve your speaking, your fluency, your connectors and everything. When you come back from your work, in some cases you find traffic, right? And you are staying in traffic all the time. Something that you can do is to create voice notes. You can create voice notes in English. In some cases, maybe if you are alone in the car, you can be like, ah, oh, well, today I did many things. I did this and that, and it was a very good day because of this and this. And then you start recording, right? Se puede ir grabando ahí en el camino. Or you can say, like, ah, today was like this and this and this. I didn't like something about the day. It's like if you are keeping like a diary, but in recordings, it helps you to practice your speaking. In many of the cases, we don't have someone to practice every day with, right? O si tiene alguien ahí que habla inglés todo el día, that would be fantastic. But if you don't have, 
you can do this and you can create these voice notes and later you can listen to them and you can say, vamos a ver, me voy a oír. <laughs> and then you check and you say like, mm, yes, I didn't get that, that message because I didn't say it correct. I didn't use that word correct. I didn't use that message correct. So it can help you train also what you produce, what you listen and what you think. And it can be very beneficial for your English development. And in the other way, you take good advantage of the time in traffic okay. for you to practice your English. Mm -hmm. So that's a good, a good tip that you can follow. Remember, okay. Jorge, that if you need if you need any specific material, any specific help, you can ask for it. You can tell me, teacher, I need help with past tenses. I need help with adjectives, with vocabulary, with something specific. I can send you material related to that. Okay. okay. On the on the WhatsApp group, you have a quiz about uh, us us. Ahí les envié un, un examencito para que practiquen. <laughs> Okay. Well, Jorge, thank, thank you very you. much for these minutes that you gave me. It's a very good moment for us to connect, right? I really like this space because I can talk specifically with my students and to get to know the needs that you have. Okay. Have a beautiful night and I'm thank going you. to see you on Monday. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye. See, see you on Monday. See you.